what is up guys official value here or hype value bringing guys this new series on my channel called tutorial time i'll probably be doing this every thursday or friday of every single week if i could find a tutorial this is to help you guys get better graphics and maybe help me get better graphics too and help you guys receive stuff that i do in my speed arts that you guys may like so today um i'm going to be teaching about adam array which have been on my last two speed arts speed arts and this is what it looks like it's just a thing that you find right here Adam Array and I'm just gonna show you the settings that I use so I'm just gonna start off with the dare logo right here with the AI and we're first gonna go to extrude nerves make two of those since there's two different ones go like that on this Lightroom it is put this to 60 and then first thing you guys want to do is copy this and then go to MoGraph Selected Group and put the copy which is see how it's still there on there because you copied it drag this into the group and then go to Effector Random put that down in here with it don't do anything to it yet minimize it go to Atom Array drag the whole group with the, with the two with the copy of the logo and the random effector and then you'll get these spheres on here or you know spheres and then just click on atom array and set this the sphere radius down to one or what you think fits best with the logo now the textures I'm gonna be using um, here are these two I'll put these in the description probably and for the Lightroom, I'll put it in the description at uh, 30 likes. So you guys tell your friends to get you the 30 likes and you can get this Lightroom. And I'll put this in there too. So, and then on the Atom Array, I have this material, which is like a dark. But wait, so let me make this more. Uh, you guys just want to kind of make the, the depth what makes it look best. So I'm this, probably going to make it 100. So then you guys get this, and then for the random effector, we put this here, so go to the form, put it on point, and you'll get this weird thing, and just like, I don't know what to call it, but you'll just get all these lines, and then go to fall off, change the weight down to about 14, and then go to uh, effector, and change the strength down to where it looks good. Most people put it like like way up so because they like to overuse stuff, but I'm just gonna make it look really clean and put it up there. That looks nice. So yeah guys, um I'm just gonna run this out for you guys and I think that'll be the end of our first tutorial and I'll be back when it's done rendering. It's about done rendering and you can see what this does to the sides. It makes it look really really cool. So yeah guys, uh, this is the first tutorial time, uh, the next one will be next Thursday, probably, uh, if I can't, if I find a tutorial, which we'll probably resume with this and do the glow lines that were on the Darth, and I just clicked off of that, wow, <laughs> the glow lines that are on the Darth, which, it was a bunch of flares, I'll show you guys how to do that, so yeah guys, this is value, please leave a like and a comment, tell me how I did, see if I should keep doing this. And if I get good responses, I'll do one next week. So, yeah, guys, this is value out. Peace.